Hello guys, hello AETM, hello YouTube. Which is back with another video for the channel. Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are psyched about this video. Yeah, because I am. You know I've been walking, walking when the same trust me, I'm gonna make you make you lose your mind. You know I've been walking, walking, little the in a rolly. Maybe it's a water time. What the fuck in the DM, I can slide. Say she knows. Um, like I'm doing all my videos hope you guys have subscribed do hope you guys have subscribed to my channel if you have been viewing if you have been watching most importantly if you have been learning just subscribe just help me like my video subscribe to my channel help this channel go please begging okay um don't also forget to turn on the post notification to get a lot of when i drop videos because i'll be going crazy for you guys yeah so today's video will not be a tutorial video it will not be a tip video although i'll be sharing a few tips a few guns that kind of thing but today's video is an experience video my experience i'll be sharing my experience i'll be sharing an experience with you guys in this video for experience exactly i'll be sharing um my first ever performance my first show experience with you guys how it happened how it built up what happened that day, uh, what I did, what I could have done better. Just a few things here and there. Maybe you guys could learn a thing or two from it if you have not performed before and you are looking forward to doing that. So let's jump right into the video. My first show, my first ever performance was in Lagos where I live. Oh, to be precise, it was in Victoria Island. It was um, in a restaurant called Eve. It's pretty popular in Adiola Odeku. It's pretty popular in Victoria Island. So it was there I had my first ever performance. Yeah. Um, so it was, I feel for me, it was the perfect place to have performance was the perfect place to have a shoe like to have your first shoe that kind of thing it was nice it was cool it was cozy a lot of beautiful people a lot of wonderful people present at the time of my performance and yeah i had a really good time performing there so my first my first performance was sometime in september 2017 um yeah i think so september 2017 so i had just finished secondary school and I wanted to do music, I wanted to fix music professionally. How did I how did it happen? How did I get to hear about it? Because at that point I was just focused on focusing on trying to like write good music, trying to like improve my music because I was rapping that time so I was trying to like learn bars, trying to learn rhymes and those kind of things. So how did I hear about you? Okay. It all happened one evening like that. I don't I don't do the particular evening shower, but it was on a it was on an evening. So my senior brother Dozy called me. No shout out to him. He's done a lot for me. Um, he don't try, so be very honest. So he called me to him and he was like, I've heard about him. He do open mic, he do show, and he thinks it will really be good for me as a first performer. I don't know how he knew, but he was like, I should try it out, check it out, and. At that point, I was psyched because I have not done anything, I have not performed before except the ones I do at home just for my brothers, just vibing, just freestyling, that kind of thing. That was the only kind of performance I had ever done. So, for me, this was a new experience. So, at that point, when he told me about it, I had two emotions. I was really happy and I was scared as hell. I haven't performed before, but I was looking forward to doing it here. Um, at that time, I did a love song for my cousin. That time, Big Six, shout out to him. So I did a lot of songs with him that time. So when I heard um about this, I hit him up. I was like, um, G, G, I've been just hear about this show. I think it blessed this thing makes sense for us. That kind of thing. Um, I hit him and he liked the idea because he had not had he has not performed before, so he was looking forward to it. Um, so we were a duo and our name at that time was Afrostatic. We were writing a song, it was a really bouncy song, and 
we wanted to perform that song today. So we are like, should we do this? Should we not do this? Let me, let me give you guys tip number one. Let me tip Shabu. Something you should uh, something you should really consider when you're trying to, you're going to perform. So depending on the location, depending on the environment, you should really like have a couple of opportunities which you can select from. It's really be helpful because I don't think you want to perform a really bouncy song in the period now. Now I'm what I'm basically trying to say like um depending on the vibe you get depending on the environment depending on the location you should have a song to match that um so he was like let's perform this song and i was like okay we can just have this but we should try and write on that song so we stay writing on that song and um yeah that's <laughs> that was that shot <laughs> not too much happened we just we just wrote on that song and yeah I think we had to go check the place out to know how this was on um, what that place could die, that place was nice. So the first place, the first time we went, um, it was just cool, it was just normal, we saw cars, like I had not seen that. Everything from the beginning to the end of the performance was a new experience and to be very honest, although I had, um, I had, I had like one very annoying moment. But because of the new experiences and everything, I think it kind of covered up for that missed opportunity. What was the missed opportunity? So, the second time we went there, we saw Banky fucking Dog News Day. He was having an interview. If you don't know who Banky Dog News is, check him out. He was he was the owner of the label which he was in before he found this cowboy. Oh my god! Wow! That time was really big. and. I really wanted to talk to him about skate and I wanted some form of ginger from anybody and I was like this is so give me give me give me, give me, give me, give me. and him said apparently he was more skate than I was so that was just industrial and I was missing and was trying out so after his interview I, he left the restaurant he wanted to go he was just trying to come do the interview and he left so when he finished with the interview he left and I followed him on my boat I was the boat like I missed him um so he had he was already in his car and because I was scared and I did not know how to go and approach him but I really really tried to go for the field attempt however the second time we were there there to get forms which will enable us to perform the next day the day we are supposed to perform yeah so we got the form then there was a number that we were supposed to call for Riyadh's house. Then, well, like I said, the whole experience was a crazy one because we were supposed to perform with the live band. Like who has his first shoe and his first shoe is with the live band. I have not seen that before and it was crazy because I felt like a made artist during the whole experience. So I called the number, um, um, if he was a cool guy, he would say we should come to the studio. So, so, so time to have Briaz out with the live band yeah so fast forward fast forward fast forward so we had a performance on the Wednesday I can't I don't think I can forget that day so um, and everything happened that day so I hit the guy up again um about the Riaz out because we we're supposed to have it a couple of hours before the main performance so I hit him and he gave me invocation where the studio was and I went to the studio um, because we're not the only ones performing that day. We met a couple of artists who were there waiting for Riaz out. So I think we're the second person to be as there. We linked up with. So we showed him the song we initially wanted to perform, and he was like, No, we can't do this. Yeah. Like I said earlier, song choice doesn't really matter. It, it doesn't really matter um, if you want to perform, it really matters on. Um, like some choices is really big. Maybe you're in an environment and just the mood, like to say the mood, you need like the right song choice. That's what I'm saying. So we showed him the song and he was like, no, do we have another song? And we were like, okay, yes, we're writing another song with this. And we showed him and he liked that one. So we rehearsed that one and yeah. 
initially it was my cousin that was supposed to take the chorus here because I didn't have a good way. Remember in my last video I, I talked about me transitioning from a rapper to being a singer and I did not have a good voice at that time. I, I had to train myself. So um so the the leader of the band, that was the person I called the the person that was organizing the open mic was saying I should take the chorus. And in my mind because he was the leader, I did not want to argue, I did not want to I didn't want to talk too much now. Um, well, well, I, I knew that I had a very terrible, terrible voice. But in, again, I was like, if he, if he told me to do this, then probably I did a better job than my cousin did. Then I was like, okay, let's, let me do it. So I, so we re, after the rehearsal, I we went home, we rehearsed it to the conversant, the lyrics to so like the conversant with everything in general. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward again. It was evening and it was show time. So we dressed in our kicks, looking fly, but I was still scared. I said inside. I don't know about my cousin, but I was scared. I did not want to flop, I did not want to flop up. It's my first time. I know in a way you are supposed to like flop up and you are not supposed to do it right. But I did not want any of that. I just wanted it to be smooth. I wanted it to be fresh. I wanted it, I like because I, I knew that because of how the place was, I could meet somebody there and if I fuck that up, I would blame myself for like a very long time. And I did not want that. So we went there, the place was cool, it was better than we saw it before the setting and everything. So the live band had had already set up in front there so we played a little bit of snooker to ease the mood to ease the tension but how is this oh yeah or i feel like okay yeah, and that's you that you probably need to have more confidence in yourself in your craft so at that point because of i knew i was taking the chorus i wasn't so confident i did not want to go off although i went off i did not want to go off but um, I was so scared about doing this. I have not done it before. That I was just, I just wanted it to be over with, and I wanted to see how this was going to end, was going to turn out. So um, so we are the second person to perform that night. So the first person performed and it was okay, it was okay performance. So in my mind I was like, shoot time, shoot time, shoot time. Come on, come on, bro, come on. But I was enjoying myself. The call was we call on Afro static now and everyone was clapping and we went to do our thing you know. Um before I, I left, so before we went to perform, I, I was really really scared because like I said I had not performed anywhere before except in front of my brothers. So it was a new experience and there were people now, real people who I had not seen before. So I stepped on the stage and in a way because of the um the, the crowd was applauding and I don't know, they were showing love. It's kind of subdued. But I stepped on the stage and it came back. It came even more because I was seeing their faces now. And I had to perform, I had to do something. So I stepped performing and gradually, 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 it was reducing because I don't know, I felt like they were happy with what I was delivering. So it wasn't the best performance at that moment, vocally or and execution wise, but it was something we could learn from and we could implement when we went for other shows. Just that. So we've come to the end of the video guys. Hope you guys were able to learn one or two things from the experience I just shared with you guys. So I'll be giving you guys just two tips, just two few things, you know. So the first one would have to be you being confident in your craft, you being confident in yourself, knowing you knowing that you put in enough work not to be scared when you perform. That is that's that's the first one. It's as simple as that. If you, you put in the work, if you don't that then you don't need to be scared when you perform because naturally when you because you've put in the work, because you've done the research, you've worked on your sound, when you perform, it's going to go smooth. Trust me, people will love it. Second tip would have to be you just enjoying yourself. You just, you, you know, you, you just being in the moment. You just um, enjoying yourself basically. So that's it for now. Like I always say in the end of my video, 
page you subscribe to my channel you know subscribe i'm begging you guys subscribe to my channel like my video like this video like this video turn on the post notification to get notified when i'll be dropping videos for you guys i'll be dropping videos every week two videos every week two videos every week for you guys um bye for now catch you guys in the next video